Okay, and we're back again. So I found out what the thing was. I just went and looked up another guide. Not very well, like, uh, typed out, but much more useful than uh, this one. Or not this one, but the other one I was using. Anyways, yeah, so basically what you had to do was when you get to level one, you're at a different level one. But it's all set up exactly the same, so slight padding. You basically just have to go through the areas again. It doesn't have chests, it's just going back up and... Fun. You go! If you followed me here, that means Amelia must have failed me. You're finished, Hugo. This is the end of the line for you. Like father, like daughter. Yes, my blood runs in your veins. You're outnumbered by us. You cannot win. Give up now and surrender peacefully. Surrender? <laughs> You'll never defeat me. Stop deluding yourself. Well, that's where you're wrong. My dear Swordians, do you remember this sword? Greetings, comrades. It's been a long time. You're... You can't be. That's impossible. You're supposed to be dead. Yes, I'm supposed to be dead. But as you can see, I'm right here before you. Now, how can this be? What do you think now? I have in my possession the ultimate Swordian from the Aether Wars. Aether Wars. Do you think you can still defeat me? Yes, we will. I promised Eileen. You're not going to win. A promise to Eileen, eh? I have a better proposition for you. Why don't you join me? We can build a new world together. A new world order can be ours. No thanks. I'm not interested in a world created from the destruction of another. I agree. My, my. Your words are like ice daggers stabbing into my heart. Your true father is asking for your help. You. You'll never be my fa be a father to me. Never! I'm relieved to hear that. Now I can send all of you to your deaths with a clear conscience. No way! Not a chance! We're never going to lose! Then try to stop me. The only thing you have to lose are your pathetic lives. Now for a not so difficult fight. Then again, all the fights, all the boss fights are pretty easy once you get certain skills on uh, these guys. Don't let him cast spells. Come on, Rudy. Thievery. <gasps> Son of a bit. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Ooh, stun. You twit. Come on! Good girl. I was hoping to get Rudy to use, you know... Can I make her do it? No. Oh wait, yeah, I can. God damn it, I don't want spells. Rudy! Rudy. You know, God damn it. Yeah, 
dead. One job, Rudy. No, you stay back. I wanted the Mystic Seal, but you know, thank you, Rudy. I didn't want it that much. Not that much, you know, even though I hit for you to use thievery so much. You did it, stun! What do you think now, Hugo? We kept our promise. We'll destroy the Aether Sphere. This will restore peace back to the world. Your evil ab ambitions are finished. You did this to yourself. Rudy, my daughter. What? I'm so sorry. What are you talking about? Berselius enslaved my mind and used me for his ends. I tried to fight him. I had to abandon you because I wanted to. I wanted to protect you from Berselius, to save you from becoming his slave. I'm sorry, my daughter. Hugo? My dear daughter, please show me your face just one more time. Father! Please. Father! Rudy, wait! Rudy, I am truly sorry. No, please don't die. Atwhite, please help me. He's dying. It's too late, Rudy. No, it's not too late. No! I can't revive a dead person. Sure you can. You do it to me in battle all the time. Please understand, Rudy. No, no, no! I'm sure Hugo found happiness in the end because he was able to tell you the truth. As your father. And not as Berselius' slave. Stom. Yes, it is true, he found happiness. Who is that? Is it Berselius? No, you're wrong, child. Greetings, my dear Sordians. Have you forgotten about me, the king of the Aether... Aetherians? Kronos! We defeated you! Yes, I dirred. I dirred. I died during the Aether Wars, but this problem was solved for me by Bruselius. Your soul escaped into Bruselius. Correct. Well done, Clement. After all, you were the most intelligent general of the Earther army. So, you were controlling Hugo? Naturally. Like I told you, he was a happy man. <laughs> I won't forgive you. What did you say? I'll never forgive you. Hold your tongue, little girl. You're trying my patience. You're nothing more than insects to me now. Insects? Yes, I shall show you firsthand. You shall bear witness to my true powers! Bersalius? What the? Behold! Behold the power of the Sordian Prime! Sordian Prime? Bersalius has evolved! How do you expect to defeat me with the normal Sordians? We never know until we try! Then you shall feel its powers through your meaningless deaths. The powers of the Sordian Prime! Ah, no more. You disappoint me. Where's your fighting spirit? Stun, come on! Oh. As long as you're here, I shall show you the very moment when the world is swallowed by darkness. No, 
Stop it, Kronos! You Sordians must watch this too. This is the moment of victory for the Aetherians. Fire, Beltrant. You are not even worth killing now. Sink deep into the sea with Belkrant. Damn it! Wait! Farewell, fools. <laughs> Traveling on a ship in darkness isn't the wisest thing to do. What was that? I can't see anything. Wait, it's a man. Where? Off the starboard bow. Rescue him. Aye, sir. Stun. Oh. Are you alright? What? Fate? Why do you ask? We saw something fall down from the sky on the way to Seingald. And we found you adrift on the ocean. Oh no, where is everyone? Don't worry, they're all fine. They're just sleeping. I'm so glad. Please rest for a while. The ship is heading for Daoshaib. We'll let you know when we arrive. Thanks. I'll see you then. This was completely unexpected. What should we do now? There's no choice but to go up there once again on the anti-grav elevator. But can we defeat Kronos? Get some rest for now, Ston. Okay. Whew. I never imagined that Kronos would come back to life. It's time for us to get ready. I was about to say, am I controlling the ship again? I get lost too easily with the ship. <clears throat> oh, whoops. Although we defeated Hugo, Kronos has been revived. Who is that? He's the king of the Aetherians. He was the mastermind behind the ancient Aether Wars. What? We'll go up into the sky again and stop Kronos. That's impossible. Why? Don't write us off before we even try. No, it's not that. Rata's role is under enemy control. What? What happened to Riker? The anti-grav elevator has stopped working. Oh no. We have to contra- Yeah, we have to contact with Rata's role at- What? Oh, we have no con- God damn. We have to contact? It's like, why does that seem so wrong? So wrong? So wrong, Jesus. No, the assistant on board Rata's roll managed to escape, but he's unconscious and in critical condition. Pardon for my intrusion. What is it? Monsters have begun <sighs> to descend upon the ground in various areas. They're asking for help as soon as possible. Your Majesty. Yes, go ahead and help them. All we can do right now is to protect the cities from these monsters. Yes, your majesty. Vims and Melina, go to Arme eh, Armada. Ashley and Lean, go to Cresta. Izard and I will protect Harmentz. Lewin, you have Darlshide. Leave it to me. Let's go. We should get going, too. We can't abandon the people who have been attacked. You're right. And I will return... Yeah, and I will return to Aqua Vale. I wish all of you luck. You, too. Thanks for the help. No, thank you for your help. Now, please excuse me. 
Okay, so now that we're done with that, wait. Do I need to talk to him? I think I need to talk to him. Harmon's Cresta and even Armada have been attacked. We really need your help to protect our citizens. So basically, so basically I need to go to all these places, it seems like. Ooh, can I get this now? Ah, damn it. Thought I could read it. But I should be able to re Oh, no, never mind. I need to be level 44 for that. What? Oh, go and save one of the towns. Okay, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, I know it doesn't work. I was trying to get out of the town. So it's like, can I take that? Um, valuables, world map. So we've got Armada, Harmens, and Cresta. Armens is going to be the closest. Um, I think it's about this. It's about the same distance to either any of these places. I think it's going to be faster to go to the town on the left, or maybe Cresta, I don't know. Oh my god, we've got new enemies out here. They're kind of pushovery, but do they give exp- Ooh, they give exp- Experience. They suck, but they give experience. I like that. Why did you get poison? You little shit! Stop bonking me! <laughs> what the fuck? Da -da -da. Now that was interesting. I like this new noise better. Like he's got indigestion or something. You have anything? No. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's probably caused a little bit of noise for this, but whatever. I try to turn the fan off whenever I'm recording because I've noticed... I mean, it's an obvious thing, but it's like I've noticed it 
causes a little noticeable noise. Oh, there's quite a few of you guys. Oh, you guys really don't fight back, do you? Well, we just don't care. We're gonna die anyway, so... Too much for me. Oh, that sucked. Then again, it's not that great of a move to use in general if they're not up against a wall. At least we only have to do one of these villages. Hopefully. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is easy, but uh... This is kind of slow and tedious already. You guys seem to be a little more active. At least these last two seem to be a little more active. Actually, what level is it, Igtenos? 24. I oh, leveled up pretty quickly. Are you alright? Thank you for your help, but what brings you here? Damn, a new wave of enemies. We can't allow them to gain ground. We'll stop them. I'm counting on you. Oh, come on, go down. Oh, good God. This is how we avoid... We basically just get a second wave going back down. I've grown tired of blah, blah, blah. Not really, but you know. I'm hearing it too often. Actually, I don't think I've ever looked at a bruiser status image. <laughs> she looks like a genuine, like, ten-year-old girl. A little late there, Gar. Why can't they just like get them all in one big fight?
I see a zero in there. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is silly. Please tell me this is it. As cute as it is, it's lost its... You little shit. You little shit! Stupid bastard actually hit me. So is this it? Do we have another way of... Whew, I think that was it. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. General Dryden and Stan, we finally found you. What's wrong? The king sent for you. The assistant regained consciousness. Really? It looks like we need to come up with a new plan. I'm going back to the capital. Izard, you take over for me from here. Blah, blah, blah. Stan, all of you should return to the capital, too. I'll take care of things here. I understand. We'll go back to Darlshide. Don't worry about us. Oh my god. It's pressing down on the D-pad, so of course I can't just get out. Pooch. Oh, baby, come on. Ah, uh, really? This is where I really wish I had, like, a way to just kind of... Okay, she's done, so that's good. The scientists and the generals are up are waiting for you in the war room upstairs. Go there. Uh, which way do I go? Upstairs. Oh my goodness. Hello. Dog, come on. Come on, get out of the way. War room. I don't think it's this way. Ow, I just hit a bone piece. Is this it? Yep. Are you feeling better? Yeah, thanks to everyone. We don't have much time, so let's start. Please, take your seat.
Please start your briefing. Here's a blueprint of the multi uh, of the multiplexed lens cannon. This cannon is designed to destroy the ether sphere. I don't understand this at all. What is this multiplexed lens cannon? It's a device to focus the energy from multiple lenses and to fire an energy beam. Just before the fall of Rata's roll, these blueprints were developed as the Earther's last hope. Can this weapon really destroy the ether sphere? I'll take our Oh, I'll ask our engineer, Reigns, to report on his findings. Our calculations show that the destruction of the ether sphere is possible even at 70% out power output of the weapon. Are there any technical problems? Please trust our country's technical expertise. We believe it won't take that long for us to build it. That long? That's too vague and unreliable for comfort. Give us a specific time frame. Vins, that's uncalled for. We all know there's not a moment to lose. We should get on with development. We don't have any time to argue. Yes, I know, but... Time is short. Lewin, I want to entrust you with the cannon's development. Is this alright with you? I'm not really tech technology savvy, but is this alright? Think of yourself as being a facilitator. You're my best logistics man, so this job is perfect for you. Alright, I accept. I ask all of you to support Lewin and to do your best to develop the multiplexed lens cannon. All of you are dismissed. Stan's group and Reigns, please stay. Yep, on. We have some other tasks we'd like you to work on. Like what? The multiplexed lens cannon won't be able to destroy the ether sphere completely. The battle will never be over unless you go up to the Aether Sphere and defeat Kronos. So what do you want us to do? Our first priority is to repair the Draconis. We can't do anything until it can fly again. We can reach the Aether Sphere with the Draconis since the Aether Sphere has been lowered in altitude due to its own weight. I'll take the lead on this. Please come to me for detailed explanations later. Our second priority is to upgrade the power of the Sordians. Is that possible? According to Commander Riker, there is a Sordian research lab somewhere. If we find it, we may find something that will help us with that. I'll find out more about this. I've already assigned Lewin to watch over the multiplex lens cannon. Please help us to save our world. Alright, you can count on us! Yes, we're all depending on you. Alright, and with that, let's make sure there are no other scenes, so we can just go outside and save. Can I fully go outside? Old woman, no. Okay, and we're good to go outside, so I'm able to save now. Anyways, that's it for today's episode. As usual, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you all next time with some more Let's Play Tales of Destiny. So until then, see you guys! Thank you.